Bloop. Still has the blossoms on his sides. Hey! I, I, it, it, it's Ube! He came out of the Whopper, out of Whopper's mouth. You okay, boy? Uh, I knew it would spit Ube out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty tasting canine. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. What? I say something wrong? Just try and have a little fun, like I do with Furball here. <laughs> what are you doing with the microphone? It bapped me in the chin again. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a voice, because the voice is like DDB, but I don't really want to give that to Ume. He's... White Wolf, how did you come to bear the canine tracker, hmm? There's a familiar scent in the air, my former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. It's just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Hey, wait. Did he just say something about the canine tracker? The canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Canine warrior, Jin. What? Oh, sorry. What the? You're one of the eight canine warriors. Ami, this dog means business. Pick, Pick a, a fight. fight. Yes. Never thought we'd be going up against you. Bring it on, Snaggletooth. Ah, oh, he's starting off with a leap. I wonder what he's gonna do with that. I'm not sure. Not much. That's for sure. The dogs are just kind of leapy. Oh. There you go. Oh, whoa. So he start uses his power to dash. Yeah, he's covered there. Oh, but you got him back. Yeah, not particularly threatening. Oh, Most of the dogs are pretty weak. Then again, I've just found the combat in this game to be kind of quite easy. Are you serious? Pew, pew, <laughs> you die. His name was Ume, not Jin. Hey, dog naming is optional. Wait, wait a minute. They messed up the names? Yeah, his name no, is no, Ume. No, no, uh, no. The humans give them different names. Like, this, is, this has been a trend for almost every dog. That they have two names. Oh, right. They don't know their real names. Yeah. Because only the dogs know their real names. Yep. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of the Gale Shrine. But this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? You obtained the Justice Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Bye. Even separated the hearts of the Canine Warriors. Beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ube. Was that his rigging for his jaw going up into his face? Those mm. vertical lines? Well, no. Um. So, you know how it, it does the... Uh, the Exterior line effects? Yeah. Uh, it's... It's thinking that it there's enough of like a, a, a mod like a model disparity that it would draw one. Mm hmm Um Okay. But it's yeah. What? You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through Hey, Ami, looks like we found the three Satomi power orbs that the canine warriors had. Hmm. I know we promised to bring the dogs back, but 
Well, at least we can bring Princess Fusei the power orbs. But I wonder... You think they can handle Crimson Helm over at the Gale Shrine? Let's be honest, we're going to be the one that fights it. <laughs> yep, that's true. Yay, okay. so we're back in the village. Let's see if we've got a bat. Oh, he's got a basket. Gourd farmer. Yep, you can't peep one of them bamboo cutter's baskets. Look, it doesn't matter how much I put in, it never overflows. Huh. Looks like this craftsmanship is lost in you, huh? Well, it's a world apart, I tell you. Look closely and you'll see. You can probably cut all those down and fill up your pouch that way, but don't do that. Because you, your pouch is already full. Making bacon pancakes. No! I cut nothing down, but I killed the man. Poor guy. He just stole his crops. Is that how they really grow cucumbers? I have... Gourds or no whatever. idea. I don't think those are cucumbers. No, yeah, he said it's Mr. Gourd, but growing gourds up above? I, I I've always seen people grow them in gardens where they're like pumpkins and yeah, they're sitting on I the I don't actually I don't know. Looks like we have to go into the house. Maybe, yeah. Or up at the shrine. One or the other. Well, let's try the house first. Oh, there oh, they are. Oh, they're all the dogs. Except for the three that are missing. Why, it's my favorite wolf and bug. Enough with the bug thing already! I must speak to you about the three remaining canine warriors. I am sensing something different about them. Do you bring no word of their condition or whereabouts? Uh, well, uh, about that. We did find the other three, but... Uh, you found them? Well, yeah, it's kind of a long story, but I'm afraid they won't be coming back. Instead, they gave us the, gave us the Satomi power orbs. Satomi power orbs. <sighs> I see. Well, I did sense that the canine warriors had changed in some way. Maybe they had a fateful encounter during their voyage journey. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken have been forged. If they are to live apart from the Satomi house, I have but one wish. I would wish them to protect the peace under their new master. For that is the role that they were meant to fulfill. That was Yay. kind of an obnoxious animation. <laughs> what, all the spinning yeah. colors? Okay. Well, at any rate, all the Satomi power orbs have been returned. Now I can break Crimson Helm's barrier. I must get to the shrine. Oh, do we get another bead chain? I don't think you use these. The other beads look different. Whoa, check it out. The power orbs are spinning around us. How could this be? Have the power orbs accepted you as their new master? Master? What are you talking about, lady? Oh, one does not choose to take the orbs. They choose their master. Oh, magnificent power orbs. Heirlooms of the Satomi house. Are these whom you have chosen to decide the Satomi house's fate? Oh, wow. Oh, mine now. Bye. We're supposed to fight that Crimson Helm thing? The power orbs have chosen you. I have no right to question them. Whether to face Crimson Helm is your own choice. All I can do now is pray for your good fortune in battle. I bet she hoodwinked us. She has perfect control over them. She just, she's just like... Uh, bat battle wolf, all yours. Did you save before this? No. Okay, well maybe there's, if you don't enter. Well, the there's shrine, a it'll be there's okay. a big old Tori gate up there. How about we go through that, and there's going to be a save on the next. Like if we get in, I assume it's a dungeon in the tower. It's another correct? dungeon. Yeah, there's going to be a save point right at the beginning of that. Ooh, dig spot. 
Let me guess. Dead Leprechaun? Dead Leprechaun! <laughs> Clover. Monkeys. Huh. Aren't you gonna feed the monkeys? Oh, I didn't, I didn't see them. I got distracted by vandalism. <laughs> right there. Oh, they're there. Yeah, and I think when you complete feeding all of the animals of one particular species, then you get like a huge amount of praise. I don't remember where it was exactly, but there was a news article a little ways back about, I think it was some chim chimpanzees that had like turned feral in the cage and hmm. more or less like started ripping arms off people. Well, um, I've, I've heard of chimpanzees biting people's faces off. Well, yeah, they, they will like bite and murder people, but in this one specifically, I it was kind of like an overnight change. They were like super friendly to the zookeepers. Um, but they would, it was kind of one of those, like, freeform zoos where you're not supposed to be able to get next to the bars, but you can. Mm -hmm. And, like, uh, and they would, like, lure people in by acting, like, really cute and, like, get them to come closer. Like, and they then they'd attack. Out back. Yeah, and then they grab... Devious things. Grab them by the arms and, like, actually start, like... I don't know if they were just breaking limbs or actually, like, taking the limbs off, but it was <gasps> horrifying. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I at think that point, it was a big news article, news story, I think, at the time, because they went in and killed all of them. They, You mean they killed the chimpanzees? Yeah, because... Mm -hmm. What the... Why is there a person there? Who is the person? I don't know. Oh. oh Susano. Susano, Siles! Sleeping on kitten sake. What the... Well, looky here, it's Susano again. Ah, uh, Grumbo, Grumbo. Oh, spirit who defiles my sword, I'm closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine, where the beast makes his lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but I, if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually find a way in. Dot, 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 dot. Mumble, mumble. Grumble, grumble. The lazy bum's talking in his sleep. Oh, um, that's probably... What's her... Uh, Fuse's? Father? Is he a spirit? Father, mother... Mushi? Yeah. Is it... Yep. Hey, what's with this guy? I can see right through him. Oh, his name is Yatsu. This is someone completely huh? different. Who are you? How is it that you can see me? I am Yatsu, the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Can you tell by my wind windmill-themed hat? <laughs> it's very specific. I belong here. I was born here. I lived here. I never set foot outside. It's the windmill for me, even in death. Long has it been since any have ventured this way. Earthbound spirit, Yatsu. My eyes have failed me, and I've replaced them with windmills. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form, and my inner windmill can blow wind at you. <laughs> you appear to be a maiden most fair. What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now accursed and accursed and under the control of a horrible creature, and no wind blows within. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you. I can tell by the breeze that flows through your luscious locks. Fair maiden? He's talking about you, Furball? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> What's this? It appears the maiden is accompanied by a little booger. Is this village to meet its end at last? Hey, little booger. He better not be talking about me. Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it's been cursed. The strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance. Like, you should see the amount of beer he's gotten through. 
It's incredible. His liver must be like dead. But his sleep is filled with nightmares that make you make him cry out. I pity the poor man and would like to render what service I could. But when I try and peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susano said something about being possessed. And he's been acting weird. Like that time he helped Kushi. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? I'm a little slow in the uptake. Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Well, very well. You may pass her savior of the Satomi house. May the windmill that lasts in your soul guide you <laughs> and bring, push you along. Oh. Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent was slain a hundred years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of the beast's blood. Never let your guard down. Always... Oh, uh, oh no! Wait, wait. The door to the Gale Shrine opened. I must have finally communed with the gods. Uh, time's come, foul spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. No, Pops, wait! Oh, he has something more to say? Is it not life dear to that man? Does he not value his inner windmill? <laughs> Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. You'll stop your inner windmills uh, right away. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent was slain a hundred years ago, Crimson Helm appeared from the windmills. Windmills, windmills, windmills. <laughs> okay, we get it already now. Stop trying to freak us out. <laughs> I Don't. love this game's humor, though. It's cute. Huh? Yep. Let's see. There should be a save point around here. I hope there is. Uh, we'll, we'll find one. I'm so tired. I'm pumped. I know you are. You're not the one that streams for eight hours a night. No, I know. <gasps> Wait, that is a... That is a... Fine. What's up with this gate? It's huge. And there's... A new enemy. Oh, it, it's water-themed. I wonder if you can... Huh. Uh, he's breathing fire, so my assumption is the back... His back opens up. Actually, why don't you look at the menu uh, for monsters? I can that do that, can't I? Yeah, he's Jerry. Oh. New. Oh, that's for Canine Warrior Jin. Never Jin mind. Jin stands for justice. Maybe. To show compassion to both the living and the dead. To care enough about one's own life and surface. That's not helpful. Maybe you only get the Beast Jerry after you after I've the killed monster. it. Yes. Okay, so he is functionally use useless. Well. I don't. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we break more or less have that. to wait until he does a thing. Pew, pew. Oh, he's drinking sake. And then he's breathing fire with it? Oh, okay. So now there's just water. Oh, I see. Maybe when he attacks with water, we're supposed to hit those. Uh, projectiles back at him. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, maybe? He has a head on his tail, too? I guess so. Ew. Okay, so he's drinking sake. Is his, is his stomach exposed? What? Oh, you know what? Yeah. While he's drinking, he's vulnerable. You're getting a lot of damage just from the yeah. sake coming out. I'm sure there's things him. that I could do. This is one of those <laughs> where I'm very tired, so I'm just like, I can fight him. All right. Well, now we'll have the beast cherry entry for it. Whoa. 
what's that? I think this might kind of be the preamble to actually getting into the dungeon. Oh, it's a key. Yeah. All we have to do is go use the door somewhere. <laughs> Whoa, is there something at the bottom of that? Two, three chests. They'll all float to the surface. You obtained dragonfly bead. You obtained bullhorn. I really wish it wouldn't give me these descriptions every time. You obtained holy bone S. Yep. Where'd the key go? Oh, maybe I think it, it respawned in the other chamber. Because I left it. But I don't believe you'll have to find it. Oh, wait, no. It. I have it in my face. Oh, wait, you got it? Yeah. Weird. I think it disappeared when I was swimming. Mm hmm. Well, I thought that you intentionally left it on the shore. I thought I did too. This reminds me of a Legend of Zelda temple. The uh, Twilight Princess, right? What? <laughs> Just. This reminds me of a, a, a Zelda temple. All of these do. This game's kind of a, I wouldn't say a ripoff, but like, well, they, uh, now there's the moon. They were pretty shameless about their similarities. <laughs> and that's kind of okay, actually. I'd, I'd love to play more like 2D and 3D Zelda clones. They're fantastic. I thought Darksiders was pretty close, and I liked that. The only problem with Darksiders is the first one was ugly Gale as fine. shit, and then the second one was really bloated. Alright, so oh well. you're tired. <laughs>